Yo, we got got some hidden hitting the wrong buttons here. Hopefully that doesn't happen in the match. They hit stop streaming instead of stop recording. Hey, don't you laugh? You did that. Oh god, getting wobbled. Well, uh, that was a good first stock, I suppose. I mean, it just it happened. Don't worry, the power didn't go out this time. That's just that was just a misclick. We're okay this time. Whoa, it's a nice kill. Well, by nice, I mean just a kill. Like that happens. It's a situation. A lot of what Kripikaze likes to do is use these platforms just to get needles on them, pressure their sh pressure them in shield, and start to like whittle away at them like this. Kill Nana, but even when Nana's dead, Kobo still has a chain grab on him, so... Unless this is Sona. I don't know if there's like some Ice Climber purists out there that can get mad at me for that, but... You know, to each their own, I suppose. Oh my gosh! That happened! Jeez! Alright, we're gonna... Take a little bit of time, unwind, you know, think about our life decisions here. Just calm down. Best thing to do is not to get frustrated. Oh my gosh, Winroad is back. Legendary. Spacing fares really nicely. Alright. Because he doesn't have much experience in this matchup. Oh. Especially versus wobbling ice climbers. Really? Yeah. No one wobbles. Way. We got like I guess four, four. but they yeah I, I bet David doesn't uh, Kirby Kazi doesn't play against the, uh, even our local ice climbers that often. But yeah, he's that's playing against the Tendu quite a few times. He's been I doing wouldn't a lot of say he's unfamiliar with this matchup. He's, he's not unfamiliar, but he's like unpracticed, I'd say. All right, anyways. Oh, yo, that's awkward. Oh, this kid went for like a good attempt, you know, try and get the ledge. A lot of Sheiks would try and go down as a, in the fear of getting grabbed. Oh, that's oh, not that's good. That's unfortunate. Why did he down it? It's like a free just down throw chain grab, right? But like, if you down there, there's a chance to SDI out. Oh, was that a was a good up smash. smash. Yeah. Caught him right oh, oh! He was slipping and sliding everywhere. Alright, so that's game one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that was your bathroom break. Oh, See any man. good things in I there? Took the uh, longest but fastest at the same time. Not bad. Urination of my life. <laughs> Ran back here. Seat still available. Didn't have to play RPS for a seat. Alright, anyways, he's going to... Is this for like a bathroom stall? Oh gosh, he's just trying to wait a battle battle. Yeah. This is probably one of Kirby favorite stages versus Ice Climbers. Oh yeah? Yeah. True. He really likes, you know, just the oh, center stage. Trapped now. He has stuck in the corner. Oh, oh, oh. my goodness. That was like really well played by Diz, like the way that he kind of forced like Kirby Kazi to kind of back up more and more and then cornered him to the ledge and then yeah. got a grab a little bit. Really well played. It's, uh, that's cheap, you know, you kind of have to space a lot of fares. And a lot of what Sheik wants to do is kind of focus on, on like maneuvering around them, you know, focus on their movement. Try and start like using that to pressure them and put them in their shield and try and like hit them away. Oh, okay. This is a good there we go. This is where the mashup's fun for Sheik. When they're like split apart, you have a lot of ways to. Well, now they're back together. It's like it a 2v1 in teams. teams. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of. It's like you're teaming with like your younger brother who's not very good at the game. That's what Sona is. Or Nana. Alright. Oh, nice back air. Knows that Nana's gonna die, so he just feigns back and kicks Disca too forward. Yeah. Come back. You like the only way was if Diz we dash forward and try to upbeat Nana back on. Yeah. Alright, alright. That was a quick, quick clean stock of that first one. After getting wobbled yeah, too. Yeah, ties back up. That's a lot that's a big thing too, just keeping your like mentality up. Oh sure? Oh yeah. A lot of people sure. get really uh, annoyed by that, especially when you're not exposed to it that much. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, wobbling's definitely, like, very good against, like, players who are not used to, like, fighting ice climbers for sure. And, like, yeah. It's got a big psychological factor to it, too. But people who really know the matchup really know how to, like, deal with ice climbers. They... You can see the world of difference. So oh, God. This is, like, okay. the stall. Oh, those were nice pairs. Yeah. The ICs kind of suck at dealing with shield pressure. Yeah. And their shields are hella small right now. Oh, that was a nice little weave back there. Drifted back. Tiki's trying to get rid of 
Oh, he's not camping platform is hard. Oh, nice. Goes for Popo. Oh, Good right. Hit. All right. Now, those are those that. scary situations where you're like afraid that Nana's gonna hit you with that. Yeah. That's nice. Finish. He barely got hit. He's still at 58%. Yeah, he only he started, started out 11. Yeah. Oh, you can see Kirby Kyle is starting to get more into it. He's moving a lot faster. This kid's really trying to, you know, hone in on that and find a way to grab him. Or hit them. You know, you can hit them too. Okay. It's also not. Wow. The forward smash. New tech. Oh, okay. boy. Oh, no. Icy's really should be getting way more out of a grab than what just happened there. Yeah, especially in this, yeah, in this matchup. All right. Helicopters. So because he goes for the safe play, just controls the center. Still gets a hit, which is really Oh, cool. my goodness. That's unfortunate. Right in the back. That's just one of those things. Oh, nice SDI to get past the grab. Kills Nana. Has his free time with Bobo. You have some good little time. You take a bath. Like oh no, this is not good. He's gonna eat a decent amount of percent here. And take him to the ledge. Okay. Oh, that was probably an accident, but you know, I didn't get punished for it. Oh no. Well, you got. It's probably grab gonna grab him here. Oh, never mind. Interesting. You're seeing a lot of. Loved edge guards into losing your own stock in the past few matches. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Here we go. Sure because he really wants to keep the stock just so he has some like leniency. Oh, oh no. He couldn't mash out in time. 83. But he gets back. And yeah, so Nana did a get up attack, so it took longer. Oh, that's it. God. Well, we're going to be one to one now. This Which is... can be kind of scary. Very close match. Yeah. Oh, nice needles. Catches them rolling away. Oh, oh. this kid goes for a grab trying to read him. Alright. Now he's on that platform. He's moving around to try and hit them in the back so they can't like grab him. Oh gosh. He's gonna go to the platform. Oh, oh he got out. Yeah. That was really good for Kirikaze. Nana didn't show up to work. Alright, that was a good upbeat. Teleported her. Okay. A lot of like Sheiks would have down smashed in that situation. I'm glad he went like to fade back into fair so he doesn't get killer. Punished for that. Oh, oh right. Oh. Yo, he almost fell to his death. Okay, that oh. might have been like this. Man, my heart would have stopped, like just for a second. That would have. All right, one one. Have you ever like just so? Di have you ever just died in a match for a second? Like you're just so nervous you just like died. Someone had to like resuscitate you. Huh? Yo, that's why I. Yo, are these so ours? Yeah, we have uh, first aid kits in this tournament venue. Oh, I'm doing good. Yo, are these ours? I have no. Th oh, this is mine. I brought my own. But I think it's for us, too. But, um. Close. Are these for us? Swag. Yo, we're, we're definitely gonna see a FD pick here. No doubt. Yeah. You think you'll ever go Fox again in big tournaments? I mean, he's been thinking about it, which is certain. All right, anyways, this was fun. This box is really good, but... This rough stage on an already rough matchup. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, Kirby Kaze was just oh. getting a lot of mileage out of those platforms, and now... That one F2 costed him so much. It's, uh... <laughs> Kirby Kaze turns around, talks to him, like... They're chatting in the middle! <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you take out his phone and just start like messaging people like, yo, I'm getting wobbled? Yeah, there was like a tournament at like, I, some, like, evil or something where like a guy was getting wobbled and he started checking messages on his phone. Yeah, I hate when people are too. I mean, I was, no, you know, drinking water, I guess it's whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's, wow. There was quite a few opportunities to oh, get grabbed here. Oh, wow. All right. There's been a lot of missed punishes from uh, Ices. Yeah. It's uh, a little unusual for a top level Ices player. But, anyways. Kirby 
Kaze keeping them apart. This is like the fun part. Just two things to hit. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much to do. It's kind of. That's like break the targets or something, you know? You're just kind of running around yeah. hitting things. Or if you're playing break the targets and all, all of a sudden you unlock like a bonus mode and like you hit as many as you can to get as much points. Yeah. It's like. The other geez. one where they like pop or like they just yeah. pop up randomly, I think that's like. Well, they don't pop up randomly on that uh, Game & Watch stage. Yeah. That should be it up there, yeah. That's so why I think like playing against Ices is pretty fun. There's, when you split them up, there's a lot of things to do. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, man. He's struggling. Yeah. What does he do? Oh, my goodness. All right. He's established his Chino style. And this kid, Boogie, is perfectly com uh, comfortable just shooting them forever. Yeah, oh, he actually just, went in. He's just controlling that part of the stage, so Kirby yeah. Kaze has nowhere to go. Unfortunately, yeah, Kirby Kaze gets a point out of that. Unfortunate for this kid. Very fortunate for Kirby Kaze. That's a situation you don't oh. want to be in. Yeah, reads the nair there. That's unfortunate, because like if Kirby Kaze didn't jump, he lands in the blizzard. So yeah. he jumped and had nowhere to land, but on top of a... Kind of forced into that. Big up smash. And he gets... Grab immediately. That stock was kind of short lived. Let's do some stretches. You know, like mentality is really important, you know. Like if you kind of rush in after your immediate fresh stock, you might play just slightly careless, and then you'll get punished super hard for it. So it's kind of what really happened there. Unfortunate, Sheik being down against ice climbers, because then they have the liberty of just kind of throwing ice blocks around, which is actually hard for Sheik to get around, and then. The threat of the wobble can make you all oh, gone. Oh boy. Oh, he quits out. Yeah. True. It's a little frustrating. I think uh, this is probably one of the first uh, worst encounters that uh, Kirby Kaze could have. It's still the best of five. Yeah. You got that. Huh? Uh, uh, in the bracket. Mm -hmm. There's only one ice climbers in this whole tournament. And. Um, yeah, there's only yeah. one. I think Kirby Kazi really wants to win this whole thing, so... Mm. Give it everything he got and pull out the comeback. And they go to Dreamland. Kirby Kazi wanting more space. To, he feels really good controlling space, so having more of it would really help him out here. Oh, he's already trapped at such edge. We've seen this situation so many times. Like, how does he... Alright, so he runs around him. Yeah. Back to the other platform. the platform to kind of yeah. get out of there. Makes a lot better, but this has the liberty of covering that. A bunch of disjointed yeah. boxes. And what does he do? He's already on electric yet. Yeah. It's rough. A lot of this looks like. A lot of this is just Kirby Kazi yeah. trying to find a way to get like back to center stage and then get onto the platform so just keep pressure on it. But this kid is playing a lot more patient and just kind of you know, waiting it out. Trying to force him into doing some bad options. Get, get a grab. No, neither of them wants to approach right now. They're playing hella safe. Yes. Welcome to the East Coast. I'll be your son. Oh, it's. It's uh. Really high punish, uh, punishment matchup. So when they want, when they can afford to play it safe, I guess they want to. Oh, that's a good get up. The edge guard there on the move. All right, it's back to that left platform. Kirby Kaze is setting up his campfire. We got the marshmallows. Kirby Kaze's movement doesn't seem as you know, swift as it was once before. Ah, that's gonna be some. That might even be a stock. Oh. You really wanted to get him into the wobble because he was getting close yeah, to the yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up B? Yeah. Wow. Well, He's like, there you go, Nana. Off the stage you go. Because <laughs> <laughs> he reversed it. <laughs> I just realized. Can you imagine that. if you, like, had a sibling? You she just threw her off the off? cliff? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there no, you go. A, it's worse. It's your wife. I, aren't they twins? Are they? Oh, uh, whatever. They're uh, twins. I'm getting they could be from, from like Kentucky. Kentucky. They could be married and twins. Sure. I think it's Kentucky. Uh, Shout out to Kentucky. No, no comment, but... Uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, this is happening. Oh, it gets forward oh, smash. Oh, my goodness. That was a pretty good hard read, though. Yeah. I knew that Kirby Kazi is going to have to retreat to his corner. And 
comes in and whack him with the force match. Oh, just stood there. The freight train of the down smash came. Wasn't ready. Here we got his Vorto, just find the mana. This kid's from NorCal, right? Or is it SoCal? It's from like okay. everywhere. I wonder if like, he probably gets a lot. He seems like he's really familiar with this matchup. Yeah. There's like a lot of decent sheep players in Cali. Yeah, that'd be like Kira, Londanis, Tetra, Shirigami, Okami. This goes on and on. Oh my god. And uh... Kurikaze. San. On the end ropes right now. Yeah, he's on his final stock here. He's for match point. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. He keeps trying to stay behind. I see. So just... All right. Oh no. Nana. Making it hard for her. Up here. Doesn't kill. All right. There you go. That's a good thing though, because Icy's don't have much priority below them. Right. I mean, they have down air, but I think yeah. Sheik's up air can and fair can. Actually oh, work. that's got, one thing I noticed that Diz is really good at. He reads where he thinks you're gonna go, and he tries to bait you to go there. I remember because I was playing a set against him, and like he baited me into like jumping into a platform, and he made me think he was gonna fall through, and just like. Just like he did there against Kirby Kaze, and he got yeah. a grab, and luckily he was not able to. Like, luckily for Kirby Kaze, he was not able to set up a wobble, but man, what a hard read or bait there. Yeah. It's, that was really well done. It's, uh, it's something I really love about West Coast playstyle, you know, like, their reads and, like, conditioning and, like, the way they play is. It's really nice. Kirby Kaze gets out of there. Oh! Any laggy move is so risky right now. He's yeah, really good at like getting behind your character, or, like getting under and behind. Yeah, that seems to be like one thing that he's been trying to do constantly. Okay, nice go. He brought it back. Kirby Kaze can do this. 84 is pretty much zero. I mean, versus Ice Climbers, that is. Oh god. Well, if you get grabbed, you're gonna have like a lot harder time to mash yeah. up. But all right, onto the platform. This is gonna grab the ledge, and that's gonna be that. And uh, Kirby Kazi shakes his head. 